Welcome to Daily Hope from Victory Lutheran Church. I'm David Palmquist. I'm delighted you joined us, and as I begin, I want to encourage you to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that YouTube recommends this content to more people. We also want you to know that we have no choice what ads show up on our Daily Hopes, so please know that any political advertisements that you may see do not necessarily represent the presenter or our church. Fear of Missing Out Genesis 3.23 So the Lord God banished him from the Garden of Eden to work the ground from which he had been taken. You have it in every stage of life, don't you? As a child, you don't want to go to bed while the adults are still awake. A little older and you get a sick feeling when your friends are at a party but you were not invited. When older, you don't want to miss out on time with the young people you love. Fear of missing out looks different for everyone, but it is always there in one form or another. The reason that everyone wrestles with this is because it goes back to the passage, the very beginning. We were created to dwell with God in his paradise amazing place, perfection, beauty. But sin changed that. Adam and Eve were the first to experience the loss of God's presence in the Garden of Eden. Ever since then, we have within us a spark of fear over all the other things that we stand to lose. Maybe your fear of losing something stems from the fact that you've already lost something or someone precious. Fear, then, really becomes a part of you. But because of Jesus, fear does not have to rule over you. That's the really helpful truth. He promises to be with you and comfort you. He promises to restore everything that was lost in Eden someday. So live by faith in Jesus every day because he is the one who conquers every fear. Join me in prayer. Heavenly Th Father, thank you for sending our Lord Jesus into this world to take away our sins, but also to take away our fear Help us to trust in him more and more all the time as we look around at things that cause us trouble, but always relying on him, that someday there will be no fear. We will live in joy and beauty with him in heaven. In his name we pray, amen. Thanks for joining us today for Daily Hope from God's Word. And remember the Lord said, do not be afraid, I have called you by name. You are mine.